Does anybody know? It's my birthday! <laughs> By the time you see it, it won't be, but it's my birthday week, we'll just say that. And I'm so excited to do another installment. This is the fourth and final video this month, and I couldn't be more happy. You know why? Because it was one that is near and dear to my heart. I mentioned to this in a former video that I wanted to talk about kind of the culmination of what this decade has meant to me. So y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. So those of you who know me, um, and even those of you who may not know me, I am really big on like reflecting and like planning my work, working my plan. My brother knows what's up with that. Ely, what's up? Um, but we always would talk about year after year, kind of like looking back at the year prior and charting a course ahead for what we wanted, um, what we hoped that our lives would look like. And so that's kind of what I wanted to dedicate this video to, is being able to encapsulate what 2019 meant for me, kind of talk about some of my highs and lows, um, and, you know, chart that thing out for 2020. I want to call this video 2020 Vision. Who's ready? Who got a vision for 2020? I know I do. Let's talk about it. So guys, if you have just joined me for the first time, my name is Rhea, Rhea Petrie. This is the Realism Channel. I urge you to also visit my website, www.realism.com, and that's R-H-E-A-L-I-S-M. I am a soldier in the army of love, as we see today. No, but seriously, I am so excited to have you today. This here video, this channel, um, was a direct manifestation of something that I deeply wanted to do. And I want to say thank you to all of those out there who encouraged me along my journey. For years and years and years, people would say, oh, Rhea, why don't you start a channel? I'm like, Psh, I ain't gonna do that. That ain't my thing. And I still have a little touch of that now that I'm growing past. But, you know, social media and technology and videos and all that, it just wasn't something that came naturally to me. So I am so excited to be talking to you guys today, especially on this wonderful special birthday week, this final week of 2019, this week where we all get to just enjoy and embrace what this year has meant to us and to be grateful. Like that's the spirit that I'm in. And so I'm so grateful that you chose to spend some time with me because I'm curious to know what are you guys grateful about? What has 2019 meant and done for you? And more importantly, what is that vision that you might have for 2020? Let's go ahead and get this 2020 vision started. So that is what this video is all about. And that is 2020 vision baby and a recap of where we coming out of that 2019 bye bye 2019 see you wouldn't want to be you <laughs> let's talk about it all right so as i sit here before you today um my heart is filled mostly because i get very emotional on my birthdays i am a total birthday celebrator hello we got to celebrate life um and the good life that god has given each one of us but um as i sit here i sit here very happy, very grateful, um, honored, blessed, um, appreciative of all the things that has come about in this particular juncture right now. And so I would say that for me, 2019, everybody should have a word. I know I mentioned this in an earlier video. My word for 2019 was manifesting. And so I have been blessed to have several people in my life who, and there's key people who are truly manifestors. And at first I didn't quite understand what that concept was, but Manifesting was my year for 2019. And so I sit here and the tail end of 2019, so excited and so grateful to have that confidence and that power, which is why I'm going to continue to talk about it here on this here channel. Um, we talk about real life, real love, real people, real relationships. And what's real to me this final week of 2019 is that we truly, truly do have the power to manifest the lives that we want. And so I've always known that I was an ambassador for that. And so 2019 has given me even more encouragement than I already had um, with regard to just what I stand for, what I'm passionate about, the purpose that God has placed me here on earth. And what that purpose is, is to give you hope for your journey, is to share and be transparent with you about the lessons that I have learned. And hey, to get there together, like let's do this. Who is not ready? I'm ready. One of the things that I was most passionate about, I said, you know, when I finished this year off, I did not want to be, you know, at December 31st, like, oh, come tomorrow. Cause you know, January 1st, that's what I was like dead determined to start what I wanted to start here in 2019. And so I'm grateful um, to be able to walk and kind of continue on my way. I had personal commitments to myself like doing this video, like blogging um, on my website. I have a blog. You can just click the tab blog. Um, but I just wanted to start small. I said, you know what? If I can do 
little achievements, one video a week, one blog post a week. I mean, for those of you that have a lot of goals and for those of you that might be multitaskers like me, those little milestones make a difference. So I feel grateful that I've kept my word to myself and now hopefully you too will be able to set a course or set a goal for yourself and keep to it. So that is one thing that I'm super, 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 super proud of is just being able to manifest this brand that I'm trying to build. Um, for anybody who wants to help me, go ahead and leave a comment below. Um, holla at me something because again, this is all new for me. So this is not something that is my, you know, I woke up, came out the womb, ready to just take. That wasn't necessarily it. I was ready to talk. But um, yeah, so let's just see where this thing can go. So that's one thing I'm grateful for. And so on a personal note, um, as I mentioned, my goal is to be transparent. My goal is to help set people free, um, which we'll talk about. That's one of my visions for 2020. But I will say when I think back to the beginning of this decade, which would have been 2010 all the way through 2019, it started off on a rocky path, I will say. I suffered a relationship trauma at that time. And, you know, I would venture to say that things were never quite the same from that point. And I don't know how many of you guys might have had, you know, a situation or whatever it was that might have thrown you off course. That's what I like to say. I feel like it threw me off course. And I didn't realize at the time that that was going to cause just kind of a whole journey of, you know, healing and heartbreak and getting over things and trying to figure out how to process things. I went through all of those, everything you can imagine, I would think, I think I went through specifically trust issues and issues in my relationships and trying to just figure it out. And I talked about this in my last video, but being a woman of faith and navigating through that dating experience, it was all, ooh, it was all a dream that turned into a nightmare many times and then bought itself on back. But it was really a true defining momental, <laughs> I don't even know. It was a journey that left an imprint on my life. It left an imprint on my relationships and how I operated. Um, yeah, and it all started in the beginning of this decade. And I, I want to say to you guys, I am proud 41 now, but that 30 to 40, boy, that decade is a real decade. For those of you that are either approaching it, you know, left it, in it, whatever the case, it is a real um, there's a lot of crucial things that happen in that period, and that makes me excited um, that I've been able to finish out this decade much stronger, much wiser, um, much more hopeful. I think that, you know, going through dating and going through, you know, trying to navigate through what you want in life and who's right for you and who's not, and do you give this situation a chance and do you not, those are the types of things that I experience. A lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of this. So thank you, um, 2019. 2018, 2010, 2011, 2015, all of those wonderful black history moments. Um, I just want to say thank you because it really did help shape uh, who you see today. And, you know, I feel happy to know that that chapter and that whole decade, we're coming to an end and I couldn't be more excited for the one that's coming up. Hallelujah and amen on that. And so as we mentioned baggage, <laughs> which I believe that I carried way longer than I needed to um, in this last decade, I also became aware for those of you doers out there, for those of you who, that have the capacity to like take on a million projects or do a million things or be there for a million people and wear all those hats that we like to wear, um, that was me and that's always been me. And so as I reflect on 2019 and I reflect on this last decade, it's been very clear that I have you know, had the capacity to manage a lot and take on a lot of stuff. Um, I also talked about this in a former video, but you know, sometimes you get to a point in your life where you do an assessment and you're like, okay, you know, let me do a, a self inventory and check on, you know, where's my heart at? Where's my mind at? Where are my relationships at? Where are my goals at? Hello, where are my goals at? You know, when you can help build others up and pour into others and invest into others and do unto others and do unto others and do unto others. And then you look up and you're like, well, what about me? Like, what, what is fulfilling to me? What do I want? Where do I want my life to go? Is my life uh, success tied to the success of someone else? You know, those are the types of things that I had to realize. Like, you know what, Rhea? If you don't do it now, then whoever going to do it for you, you know? So I'm excited that in this decade, I have come to the realization that that served me well. There was a season where I was, you know, as someone told me once, filling up the pictures for everybody else and decorating the room and at everybody's function and helping everybody else. And I feel honored that I have a heart that has the capacity to do a lot for others, but I couldn't be more excited 
about what's to come as I invest in me, as I, you know, move forward um, with the things that are on my heart, that are that I desire, the dreams that I have. So that is something else that I'm excited about is just shifting into a new decade where I put me in the rightful place, not in the back seat. You can't put yourself in the back seat. You can't do, 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 give, 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 and then you deplete it when it comes to things for you. So I'm excited about that. It's just reshifting uh, my priorities as it relates to my time and as it relates to how I invest my energy. So I'm ready. Invest in you because I'm investing in me over here. Okay. So, you know, I kind of feel like we're on this journey together, like it's me and you and you and me and we and us and we doing this thing at the same time in real time. So what I hope that you guys are out there doing as well is, you know, doing your self-assessment. Like, what was this year like for you? Like, have you had a rough year? Have you had a great year? Were there some successes? Were there highlights, challenges? Um, growth moments, I like to call them, all of those things. I hope that you are asking yourself that. Are you making your list of the things that you plan, your intentions? Are you setting your intentions for the year to come? I know for me, as I just mentioned, I, you know, I'm going to do some shifting around, some shifting of my energy, some shifting of my prioritizing, being able to put me first, being able to put my relationship, you know, with my husband. I really want to work on oneness. Um, I'm looking forward to just spending more quality time with God and really deepening um, and channeling my spiritual walk in a much stronger way. One thing that I will say um, for people who are consumed and when you're on the move a lot and you know you pray and you gotta hop up and go do something else and you can't get through a prayer or get through quiet time without your phone, you know, all of those things I think I became aware of is just being more present. That's something that I really desire to do um, in this next decade. It's just a whole new, you know, reinvention of re, reinvention of re. Hello, that is what, you know, all of these things summarize to being a reinvention of Brie and really like deepening and strengthening the relationships that mean most. I feel very, very grateful. I want to take a shout out moment to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to my friends, to my family, to the people who have supported me um, along this journey. I feel really hopeful. Um, the seeds that are sown, whenever we sow seeds into others' lives, even if it's a dry season, even if that soil is not fertilized yet, those seeds... They do bear fruit. So thank you. And I hope that you guys are taking the time to pour into those people who mean a lot to you, whether they're high, whether they're low, um, you know, whether they're right in your face or thousands of miles away. Like just take a moment sometimes to just sow a seed because it really can go far. So thank you. I want to say thank you in this moment to those individuals that did that with me because I would be sitting here, okay, talking to you on my special day um, about this wonderful year and just how awesome it's been and all the the, the, the manifestations that are to come, I believe, are coming. And it's because somebody out there was telling me that I could do it. Somebody out there was saying, Rhea, you know, I can't wait to see you on your show. Hello, it will be a show. Right now we're doing a YouTube channel and that's okay. But, you know, I believe it because my faith was poured into and poured into and poured into. So I'm grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you who have been in my life. And I hope that you guys are feeling the same. Are you feeling supported? Are you feeling like your dreams, your goals, your desires, even the things that you aim to accomplish, things that you might need a little bit of help, a little accountability on? Are you clear about what those things are? Um, so yeah, begin to do that self-reflection. Begin to write those things down because we're not here to do life alone, okay? We are here in community. So write to me. If you need some help, write to me. Leave a comment, go on my website, click on Ask Rhea, um, shoot me an email, whatever you want to do, smoke signal. I see them all, whatever you want to do. <laughs> and I'm here for you because this is what we're doing. We're doing this thing together. So what else am I excited for for 2020 and beyond? You know, I coined this term many years ago called the freedom movement and what that means to me i'm excited to chart the course for the freedom movement primarily because i believe we practice what you preach i'm a person who tries to walk the walk and talk the talk um so as we do these videos and as we dive into things you know my hope is that as i come into my own freedom in certain areas i have been stuck before i have been you know, down. I talked about being low, low, low. I've had seasons of being low. I've had seasons of confusion where I strictly did not know what the right decision was for myself. I've been in all those places. But the beauty is that once the light bulb comes on, once you have that, ah, which I talk about in every video now, it's become a thing. Um, but seriously, once I find that moment 
of epiphany of revelation what I commit to doing is helping. I just know what it's like when you're like, oh, don't nobody understand, nobody gets it. Well, I get it, I get you, and I'm here to help you get out of it. So I'm really looking forward to expanding my practice, expanding coaching, doing these videos, being able to interview people. I'm looking forward to that um, in 2020, just expanding the realism brand and being able to talk about things that matter um, with real people, with real life, uh, the stuff that people don't always talk about. I'm looking forward to that for sure. Ooh, I'm looking forward to, um, I talked about being super, super busy, super, super consumed. I'm truly looking forward to a full paradigm shift. What that means is like how I operate and always being busy and always being like boom, 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 boom. I'm looking forward to having a more zen lifestyle. So I'm praying for that. I'm welcoming in more peace, uh, really getting into alignment with my purpose and like, you know, what God has for me and how I can create an atmosphere of peace and really going after. I think 2019 showed me the manifesting part that we have the power to speak, the power to declare and to work towards. But now in 2020 and beyond, I really want to embrace um, just that Zen, being able to let go. I'm doing this little study on prayer right now. And I could I be happier on this day of my birth to be able to say, I let go. And so it is. And amen. And that is something as simple as it is. I let go, and so it is. I mean, I find myself sometimes so like rattled up in situations and getting wound up. And, uh, no more getting wound up. I let go, and so it is. Amen. Hey, come on and do this new decade of freedom with me, people. I'm excited about that. And then I have to say, I think what's going to mean the most to me, too, is continuing to engage with you guys. I mean, this channel, again, was strictly a thought. My website, all that. I know it's a work in progress. So for all of you out there that have lovely tips to share, go on ahead and make me better, okay? That's what we're here to do. Make each other better. But what I will say is, I just had to start. So if there's anybody out there watching and there's something that you want to start, it is literally we got a few more days of the year left. But it's never too late, you know? So I always say, take that moment to yourself. Get quiet. Be able to reflect on your highs and lows. What did you learn this year? What did you accomplish this year? What do you aim to do more of? What do you want to do less of? I know for me, like I said, I'm trying to work on simplifying my life, I'm trying to work on more oneness. I didn't talk too much about it, but I do intend to dive deeper into relationship stuff. Um, I'm still newly married, still learning what it means to become one. That is something I'm so excited um, and looking forward to learning more about, honey, because this is like, it's like school. I'm in school right now, so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, just being more present and being more present to what you guys want to talk about. So if there's anything that you share with me, if you want to talk, if you want to, you know, leave a comment, you want to email, like, subscribe, comment, all of that, I am so here for it. I'm so grateful. Thank you for even taking the time to look at me talk and talk and talk. I know I'm all over the place, but that's because this is my favorite time of the year, my favorite day of the year. I love Christmas holidays. I love my birthday, and I love the end of the year because I get so crunk for those down southers. I get crunk. I get excited um, to be able to say, hey, plan my work and work my plan. So let's do that together, guys. I love you. I'm grateful for you. I can't wait to see what 2020 brings, what topics, what people, as we begin to interview people, where is this thing going to take us? I don't know, but hey, I'm here for the ride and I'm just going to be me. Hopefully you guys will join me. Um, but yeah, happy new year to all of you. I wish you and pray that um, as we journey through this thing together, that I can give you hope. You can give me hope and we can have the life that we want. So come on. What's your 2020 vision? Holler at me. I want to know about it. Peace.